Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about a very interesting article that's come out today on multiple websites discussing the Grand Theft Auto 5 story expansion, which these sites are claiming to have a new protagonist, a new setting, as well as brand new features. So I know this all seems too good to be true. And this all broke today. That's right. These articles are coming out on April 1st, 2016. That's when I'm making this this video that's maybe when you're seeing it maybe a day or two after and apparently this report comes from a Greek website named busted via gamepur now I'll leave the two articles that I'm using to make this video in the description if you want to check them out for yourself and they basically state while Rockstar has been delivering a bunch of new content for GTA online over the years which is true they haven't said much about a new single-player expansion for Grand Theft Auto 5 which is also true and they state if a recent report turns out to be legit, then we may finally be getting substantial single player content that will introduce a number of new elements. Now, obviously, before we get started, this has not been confirmed by anyone. No one at Rockstar has stated this is true. This is all just a report. So keep that in mind when reading it. As I mentioned earlier, the report came from the Greek site Busted, and the site claims that Rockstar is working on a DLC that is similar in structure to the Liberty City Stories DLC for Grand Theft Auto 4. So if you guys don't know, the two DLCs that came out for Grand Theft Auto 4 were The Lost and the Damned and The Ballad of Gay Tony. And once they were both released, Rockstar packaged them into one, calling them Episodes from Liberty City. It was really cool. It included the main game, the Lost and the Damned DLC, and also the Ballad of Gay Tony DLC. So this website is saying that the DLC is going to be of similar structure to that, I don't really know what that means because all the only thing episodes from Liberty City meant was that it was the two DLCs packaged in one. So they go on to say, based on the report, it's possible that there may just be more than one of these expansions in the works. So that's probably why they're claiming that the expansion and episodes from Liberty City would be very similar to Grand Theft Auto V because there would be more than one. Now they go on to state the first of these will feature a new protagonist named Anthony Miller and takes place within the cities of San Fierro and Las Venturas, which of course is the GTA equivalent of San Francisco and Las Vegas. And you guys might remember those locations from Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, where we not only had Los Santos, but we could travel to San Fierro and also Las Venturas. Now, obviously from the beginning, I was pretty skeptical about this article. However, there's one tiny detail that these articles kind of seem to leave out. And because I've really been in depth with this topic before, I think I might know a little secret that really does give away that this is fake. So they talk about the protagonist, Anthony Miller. Now I tried to do some research, I looked up Anthony Miller's in the Grand Theft Auto series. Nothing came up. There was no Anthony Miller that we could look for in another GTA or in a previous GTA game that would really give us any information on who that might be. However, the name Anthony Miller kind of struck me as familiar. And I was like, where is this coming from? And then I remembered that this might have been one of the images that certain cryptic YouTuber XXII has been releasing to the community. And I'll actually put this image on the screen right now so that you can see this is like the creation of Anthony Miller. So I'm guessing that's where the websites have ultimately gotten this from. I'm not sure what the deal is. I think that these websites are just piecing together this story about the expansion uh, from whatever XXII is releasing. And this will start to make sense a little bit later because they go on to state on top of a new character and returning settings, the game will also have horseback riding and casinos. Now we obviously know casinos were featured in Las Venturas in GTA San Andreas. And we know we have a casino in GTA 5 that says opening soon from the very beginning. So that's not an uncommon thing to guess that some sort of single player expansion might have a casino DLC. However, they state horseback riding would be the first for the GTA series, even though we've seen it in other titles like Red Dead Redemption. Now, why I think this is, again, fake is because this website is gathering all of its information from XXII. He also stated that he found horse riding code in Grand Theft Auto, which is odd because that's been in the coding ever since the game came out. This is nothing new. And I think that's what's so interesting about this guy is he's finding information that is, for the most part, relatively old 
and has already been in the game and is just bringing up and people just seem to forget about it. So that's some of the very interesting claims so far is that, that a new DLC is going to be very similar to episodes from Liberty City. Maybe it would be episodes from San Andreas, episodes from Los Santos. And I can't tell you that I wouldn't want this to be in the game. It sounds really cool, but I think these websites are ultimately falling into the trap that a lot of other people are falling into. And that's why I'm trying to explain all of this to you guys. This is most likely, I'm almost saying like 99% not real. And until anything that XXII creates of substance turns out to be true, I'm simply not going to believe him and I would advise you to do the same. His videos might be very cryptic, they might be very flashy and interesting, and they might have interesting images of coding or things you might not have seen before, but for now they're all just gigantic rumors that he seems to be curating and creating. Now with all that being said, there is still some time for maybe something like this to develop. You guys know that Rockstar may be at E3 this year and they might have some sort of announcement, whether it's a new game like the next Red Dead game or whether it's an expansion to Grand Theft Auto V single player. We're just going to have to wait. Now, what is cool about that is I am going to be at E3, so I'll be able to report on anything I hear, anything I see, and if anything is announced, I'll be sure to tell you guys about that as well. But like I mentioned for now, this does look like it is fake, and obviously these websites are running with just various images that a cryptic YouTuber is putting out. So I'd love to hear from you guys in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think about this. I wish I was able to bring you some more positive information, but I don't want people to get confused by what's being put out online. And that's ultimately why I make these videos is because you might read this and then you might get upset at Rockstar when it doesn't come out, when you should get upset at the people putting out the false information and that cryptic YouTuber for like hinting at things that clearly don't exist. So I just wanted to let you guys know about that. Make sure that you're all good in that regard. But that's where I'm going to leave you guys with today. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. If you did go on to enjoy the video, a like rating would of course be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. Without the way guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.